Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, when you get a chance, uh, before I start this video, I want to send a shout out to uh, the Black Authority. When you get a chance, please check out his video. Go to his YouTube channel. It is called The Black Authority. And check out this video that he dropped about Eminem. He basically uh, said everything that me and a few other people have been saying about this fraud, me, uh, Lachine, for you. Uh, go check out that sister's channel. She out of the she out of the shot. Uh, great channel, great content. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, just great channel. But me and her been on the same page about one Marshall Matters, and she got quite a few videos exposing him, what he's all about, everything. You know. But go check out the Black Authority's video. I'm talking about everything that he said was damn near spot on about what I've been saying about Eminem, how it's a brainwashing and how basically Eminem does not represent the black community. He doesn't represent black people at all. How he basically represents the white trash and the white supremacists that listen to him because that's who his target audience is. What do we have in common with black people? Not a motherfucking thing. He talked about everything, how Eminem been used in the black community and how, you know, everything. He talked about Dr. Dre, everything. But anyway, uh, let me start this video off by talking about one, Khalees, because she's the, she's the subject matter. You know, Khalees is basically co-oping, you know, uh, these white feminists and basically trying to, you know, uh, suppress and depress not impress and keep down the black man she's uh co-oping with her talking in code you know some of the shit she was saying she did an interview with some media outlet but basically she mad at the world you know mad at Pharrell mad at Chad Hugo in case you guys don't know the Neptunes have uh gotten back together for real and Chad Hugo so now the Neptunes is back. And if you don't know who the Neptunes is, they produce for pretty much anybody that's anybody. They produce for uh, Snoop Dogg. They have produced for Jay-Z. They have produced for uh, quite a few people. You know, but one in particular, they brought out, uh, they put on Khalees. She was, I think, signed to their record label, Star Trek. Now, Khalees hasn't been relevant since Milkshake. And before that, the only hit song I can remember was Caught Out There. You know, that I hate you so much right now. Well, she hates not so much right now. Or uh, basically anybody. But to me, she seems to be co-oping uh, white supremacy and these uh, female, a.k.a. white supremacist black man hate groups because in an interview she was like talking in code and it's something she said to where basically that showed you what type of shit she owned but anyway Khalees is you know um, a, a BBW a, a, you know a bitter black woman mad at the world career failed ain't done nothing in a while you know hasn't had a hit in a while and basically she mad at Nas because Nas is still a hip hop icons. He's a legend. He one of the uh, best that ever did it. You know, so you know, she just mad. You know, so basically she she did a hit hit piece on Nas, and she was talking this stupid shit about the Neptunes and shit. Now it's the language and the dialogue she was using. Like like you gotta understand these uh, feminist um, feminists aka hate groups be trying to make up new dialogue and she kept saying that she was financially beat beat up and abused by Pharrell as, as well as uh, being physically abused by Nas typical rhetoric which I don't believe Nas just do not come across as a dude that's into that type of shit I could be wrong but Nas just don't look like he that type of dude now it's some people that you you wouldn't be surprised if Nas don't even look like he he got that in his heart. But she basically accused Nas of being physically abused. Because, you know, that's the go-to thing now to get people 
you know, trying to put they put the spotlight on Nas and say that she was physically abused by Nas. So basically, uh, Me Too could start going after Nas and harassing him and talking about boycott Nas. See, there should be something called proof. Just because some chick said don't mean that it's true. But basically, she was just talking a whole bunch of shit about Nas because see what didn't happen is probably the child support didn't ran low or she not getting what she was getting in, ch in child support so that's the go to move to, sl to slander a man's name and then basically at the end of the interview she basically was saying she ain't finna be the protector of black men and, and keep the black man's rip you know I'm paraphrasing but she said something like that which basically lets you know that that was the whole idea that she basically told on herself to demean and uh, you know belittle black men for the sake of white supremacy and these uh, and these white bitches uh, female I hate black man groups like me too but I just want to say fuck y'all bitches real talk fuck y'all K bitches you know re no for real just for real but it just got to be said, and that's that. It's just a damn shame, like I said, how you know brothers are always do under the bus. You know, at the end of the day, we got everybody against us. Not not all our women is doing this to us because we got some sisters that's going to. We got a lot of sisters that's going to uh, the bat for us. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, I, I want to put that out there. I want to thank the sisters that support us because at the end of the day, without y'all, we ain't nothing. Because you you are the key to us growing stronger and being stronger. You are our backbones. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, real talk. It do bother me when I hear, you know, chicks like Khalees, uh just, you know, demeaning black men in front of mixed company. But that's what they want. And then the thing is, what her dumb black ass don't understand, she being used. The same way white men like to use and exploit uh, black men, white women love to use and exploit, you know, black women. Because that's what they specialize in doing, ex exploitation. That's why in the 70s they used to call them black exploitation movies. Because black people was being exploited. You know. So... Khalees, she that's unfortunate for her, but she need to get a grip on life. She just come across once again to me as a, you know, BBW, a bitter black woman. But let me know what you guys think. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.